Right, I didn't think I'd be doing a video like this, and before you click off, I'm not doing a Biblical Reaper, or Piglical Reaper as some people know him as. So this is probably the absolute hardest video I've ever had to make on my channel. It's almost embarrassing. It's a rough time. Triggered. No, this video is actually about PewDiePie. Now, I don't want you thinking I'm just jumping on the bandwagon, but he is being falsely accused of being a Nazi or a racist. This is just bang out of order. This video is just to show support for PewDiePie and how to fight back against the media and all their absolute bullshit of stories and their made up lies just to try and make money. Like how they can pick the most simplest or most innocent of things and turn it into the worst thing possible on the internet. Us as a community, we can actually rise against these and actually do something about it and put PewDiePie back where he belongs at the top of YouTube and not in this basically the category which the media are putting him in as a racist. It's bang out of order. That's all they want to do is just put people into categories. If you're not in a category, they will put you in there. As soon as you say something, they will put you in there. They'll put you in. They, every, everyone's just got to be into a category. You can't just be a normal person. They always want to try and make out to be like the best thing since last bread. But really, God's honest truth, they are the racists. They're the ones who keep bringing it up. Not us, not PewDiePie. If you've got a sense of humour, you would realise he is not a racist. He was just making a joke. Yes, it went a little bit too far, but that's PewDiePie. He, he does this. This is this is what makes PewDiePie PewDiePie. He is funny. He says it how it is. He does things that no one else does. This is what's got him to the top of the game. This is what... This is how he's got 50 million subscribers. If it wasn't for him, a lot of YouTubers wouldn't be YouTubers. He's the one who's made YouTube and he's being treated like this. Now, basically, if you don't know what's going on, basically, Wall Street or Wall Street Journal, they went through every single video of what PewDiePie made and tried to turn it into that he was a racist just because he made a couple of jokes about... Um, I think it was YouTube hero videos and basically he got a couple of guys in India to hold up a death to all Jews sign. Here we go. Sign to behold. Death to all. Sub. Scrab. To. Keen. Star. Star. Please. Deliver. <laughs> the fuck is this? I paid for this. What? What's with the Christmas? I like the editing. Subscribe to Keemstar. <laughs> now, not being funny, it it, it was far. It, he did push it too far. But you watch the whole video, you'll understand he was just doing it because there's a website called Fiverr. And basically you can pay anyone a Fiverr and they'll do anything. The media will only show that part. But the thing is though, it wasn't just that he was doing. He was also trying to make people do, it was like a math teacher or something. And he was trying to make them do a graph of cocks. It, it was just funny and he was trying to just wind people up and seeing how far he could push it. But the media just want to show that because it will make them money. It will be a clickbait for them. It will make people think, oh, I'm going to read that. And then think of PewDiePie in a way that he is not. See, the thing is, people don't realise that he's actually got more subscribers than most news networks or most newspapers. Wall Street only have 478,000 subscribers. And then there's CNN who only have 1.8 million. And then there's the BBC who have 1.1 million. And then there's Fox News, Sky News, The Telegraph and The Sun. They only just have 1.2 million subscribers combined. Now this is the reason why all these news channels and newspapers are all against PewDiePie. Because he is smashing them with the, with the subscribers. Whenever he releases a video, so many people are watching it. But yet when one of these newspapers or news channels release something... They hardly get any views. No one really cares about it unless it's something really drastic. A bit like now with the situation what's happening. As you can see on the screen, this is actually Wall Street Journal's um, 
YouTube channel. They upload videos every single day, but they're getting barely a thousand views or just over a thousand views on them. But as soon as they bring in PewDiePie, who is an internet sensation, basically he, he is the god of YouTube, he's getting they're getting seventy eight thousand views, and that's still nowhere near to what YouTubers get, let alone what PewDiePie gets. People who only have thirty thousand views, uh, thirty thousand subscribers, are getting more views than what they do. They hate people on YouTube. The media do hate us. They, obviously, they don't hurt, hate me because I'm not that big. But when you start getting into the big time, like the ten thousand subscribers or the twenty thousand or the hundred thousand, that's when they start to pick on you. They hate YouTube, and there's nothing they can do about it. Because we as a community, we as YouTubers, we as the viewers or the people that watch, we've got to stand by these YouTubers and help them fight. And I know it sounds ridiculous fighting against the media and doing all this, but it is what it's coming to. We can't let them dictate what people can say on YouTube. And that's not me saying that saying, saying racist comments is fine, because it's not. But using someone's content who's basically a comedian and trying to play out of context like I said earlier absolutely blowing it up and making a big fucking shit about it is bang out of order and it's got to stop now there's already a few YouTubers who I won't like name in this video who are already sucking the cock of the media but and basically Disney and YouTube have started doing that as well and this ain't having a go at them like obviously they, they haven't got any bottle, that, that's not their fault. Like, they, they just want to stay on the good side, right? But then there's people who want to fight against it, like PewDiePie, he, he's had enough of it. And there's other ones who I know about who have had enough of it. We're, like, they, they, they know that the media are trying to censor everything on the internet. They're trying to make, they're, they're trying to create a world which is perfect for them, where they can earn as much money as they can, they get as many views as they can, they get everyone looking at all the content. Because that's the way they make their money. But they know that YouTube or people on the internet get a lot more views. And I, I wish to God PewDiePie would start doing news articles. Start taking their news articles and putting it on his videos. Because I tell you what, he'd get a lot more views and start... like He'll, he'll basically kill like, newspapers and new, uh, news channels and stuff like that if he started doing it. Any YouTuber would kill a news a news channel or a newspaper just because they don't get enough views not enough people looking at their content people only look at it because it might just be on the telly or they might just come across it now this is where we can come in and start fighting against the media and show them that we're not going to let them dictate to us what we're going to watch or what we're going to upload basically us as YouTube community we can stand together and fight back by the worst thing which they hate at the moment and that is the bro army because they know how many people are actually for PewDiePie if we go onto their posts and everything and just spam over it hashtag bro army and even I, I hope that a couple of big YouTubers will see this and repost this and include it into their videos somewhere just hashtag bro army just to show support for PewDiePie and the fact that we like freedom of speech not the fact that we want to be racist, but the fact that we want to be able to show and upload content that isn't going to be monitored or um, cut off of the internet or deleted. We, we, we want to be able to upload stuff that we want and not have to dumb it down just because the media want us to be a load of fucking dimbos, basically. Like, they've already, like, I don't know if you know of him, but there was a YouTuber called Go Gamer. He's a brilliant guy, absolutely fine, he's absolutely brilliant, and I find him really funny, and basically just because he hurt some fat boy's feelings, he got his del uh, channel deleted, but he wasn't doing it to actually hurt the guy, he was only voicing his opinion, but yet, yet again, you're not allowed to have an opinion, because you've only got to think one way, and that one way is the media way, or the YouTube way, you are not allowed an opinion on the internet. It's really ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. To be honest, I think he should have done it to actually really hurt him. But he was only doing it as a joke. But the geezer who he was taking the piss out of, he'd done a lot of people out of money. And it, he deserved it. But yet, because he'd done that, 
because he uploaded the videos and started slating him, he got his channel deleted just because he hurt the fat boy's feelings. And it's out of order. So, guys, please, 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 go all over the internet, all over Facebook, all over social media, Twitter, everything. All news articles, everything to do with the media, just spam out of it, spam the hell out of it. Hashtag bro army. We need to do this. We need to start fighting back. We just need to show the media that we're not going to put up with their shit anymore. We're not going to believe their fucking shitty stories, the things what they make up, just so they can earn a little bit of money out of it. So let's all stand together and stick a middle finger up to the media for the people in recent years on YouTube who have been censored or shut down and the ones who are present who are currently going through a bad time just because the media don't like them and don't like their content. Remember, stick up hashtag bro army everywhere you can. And also, please make sure you share this video and help it get out there to everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Nice try, Wall Street Journal. Try again, motherfuckers.